School districts across the state are putting their budgets for the next school year right before the voters today. Polls are now open in every district in our area. So let's start things off running through the races we're watching and some of the major topics that are up on the table for discussion. One school district, Dolgeville, proposing a budget that exceeds their district's tax cap. Dolgeville's $21 million budget represents an 11% tax increase because that is greater than the district's cap. It must be passed by a 60% supermajority. There is also one seat open on the Dolgeville school board with three candidates currently vying for it. In Utica, the proposed budget is just over $186 million. There is no tax increase with that plan, and there are four candidates seeking the loan available seat for Utica City School Board. Central Valley has a budget of just under $52 million. The tax increase is under 2%. Three candidates are going for two open seats, while Oakware in Clinton, their budget plan is just over $29 million, and that carries a 2.24% tax increase. Over in Cooperstown, residents are voting on a nearly $20 million budget. The tax increase, which is just below 3%, it is within the district's tax cap. Switching gears now to Herkimer County, the Herkimer Central School budget. That is $24,210,000. That package, it comes in under the district's cap. Holland Patton voters, they're deciding on a $35.2 million budget and a separate capital project. That will address safety, security, and infrastructure with a $9.8 million price tag. There is one seat open on the Holland Patton School Board with two candidates trying to get it. Milford voters face a modest $4.1 million budget with just a 1.5% tax increase, but there are six candidates vying for just three open seats on their board of bed. New Hartford has a $54 million proposed budget. That tax increase, less than 2%. There are also two open school board seats with four candidates on the ballot. Over the budget is just over $41 million before Oneonta City voters. That tax increase does not exceed the district's tax cap. The Rome City School District, their budget proposal is more than $116 million. One to watch tonight, the 4.06% tax increase is right at the cap limit. It comes with some 20 25 staff cuts, other 75 positions lost through attrition and some program cuts. Five people are vying for three seats on that board of ed. Now we told you about the money issues facing the Skeneva School District. Their budget up for a vote, just over nine million. The tax increase at their cap maximum, 4.87%. The budget proposed does not resolve the district's long-term problems. Four candidates are in the running for one seat open on that board. Whitesboro's budget is just over $70 million. The tax increase in Whitesboro would be under 2%. There is a $100,000 capital project being talked about. Three people seeking two open board seats. Again, the polls are still open. We're going to be tracking these races throughout the evening right here on WUTR, as well as over on our sister station WFXV, and of course online as always, cnyhomepage.com.